My name is Margaret Woody. I'm a member of St. Thomas Episcopal Church since um, between 2000 and 2001. I was brought here by uh, my late mother-in-law, Lucy Landon Woody, and my late uncle, uh, Robert Bowling uh, Wilcox, her big brother. Um, and they loved this church. And through them and the greatest generation of people that I met, um, I feel like uh, a dream that I had, recurring dream that I had of losing my soul and my pocketbook, um, I found it in the back seat of the uh, St. Thomas Episcopal Church. In fact, um, I had that recurring dream before I became a member of St. Thomas. And when I walked through the narthex of the church, um, I found my soul. And the reason I found my soul is because I always believed in what Howard Thurman um, said, uh, that Jesus loved the disinherited. And I come from an adopted family of multiracial people and people with all sorts of abilities and disabilities. And I felt like um, I could never find a church that really honored them as God's creation and I never could find a church before who really took uh, following Jesus to heart and so um, when my mother-in-law introduced me to uh, the people who ran the food pantry here at St. Thomas and the outreach programs here that is when I realized that this church um, has the power to bring Jesus into our community and into the world. Um, it was done through many, many people who have, who are no longer with us and people who are still with us um, and is continuing with the leadership of uh, our rector, Herbert Jones, and um, many other people who have served on the vestry over many years who have seen the church um, body of Christ uh, leave the church and then come back to the church and, and just all sorts of things. We are human beings and our transformation happens when we have true repentance and we actually ask what Jesus would do. Um, I believe in outreach ministries and that is the reason that I am a member of this church because we are strong in that and we do it well. Uh, I don't have any special memories that I could actually do within two or three minutes. So I just wanted to say that I love St. Thomas and I follow the example of my late mother-in-law who is whose remains are in our memorial garden. Thanks.